Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' It's Dean Boss reacts to this bit by Marky. It's titled, The Who the F Did I Marry Situation on TikTok is Insane. So I've been hearing a lot of people talk about this and like rave about it and say that they're stuck on the story, yada, yada, yada. So I was like, okay, let me go check it out. I went on TikTok and I got up to like part three and I was like, all right, I'm gonna head out. <laughs> because like there was nothing that was like, you know, really gripping me and making me want to watch, you know, 123 parts of, of, of this woman's story like she has so many parts and I'm like yeah no I don't understand what the hype is but again I didn't stay long enough to figure it out but everybody's talking about this and he's gonna like summarize the situation it seems and apparently there's an update to the situation so if y'all watch this video and y'all actually care then I'll check that one out as well um because I guess an ex-wife responded or something and even the husband responds in this video apparently so yeah let, let's get the tea and, and see what's going on with this whole situation let's watch now since i started covering a bunch of drama that happens on tiktok a few times i have said something along the lines of this situation is taking over my for you page i think i literally said it yesterday another time i felt like them statements were true but that was up until today when i went onto tiktok and saw a situation that took over my for you page in a way i don't think i've ever seen before and it's yeah, a series of videos today. titled who the fuck did i marry now i'm assuming a lot of you will already be aware of this situation but in case you have no idea what i'm talking about let me add some context but before we do get into that i am trying to reach half a million subscribers on youtube and we're getting very close yeah, so if you could help out and maybe subscribe that would be lovely Right, so the TikTok we're talking about today is Risa Tisa, who has pretty much a million followers on TikTok. Oh, she In fact, it is going already. up so rapidly that I'm wondering if I refresh this page because I have been on this page for a few hours I at this like point researching million. this video. I am wondering if I refresh this page, how much they're going to go up by, okay? So 985k. 1.1 million! Jesus Christ! Oh, okay, I did think it maybe would hit a million. Not 1.1. Now, I do realise it looks like I said that up. It looks like I faked that in some way, but no, she is genuinely going up in followers this quickly. And the reason why I hadn't refreshed this tab for so long is because when I started planning this video, it was many, many hours ago. And it all started with this video right here called Part 1, Who the Fuck Did I Marry? As you can see, it's on 14 million views. And I had to watch through every single part of the series to make this video. And you might be wondering Please, at this point, how many parts was it? Like, why did it take so long to watch through it's these? It's a lot. Well, that's a very interesting part of this because this is actually a 50-part series. And not only is it a 50-part series, each video is about 10 minutes long. And in oh. fact, once I actually got to Part 50, there was a comment telling you how long you would actually spend watching the series. And according to this comment, it says, Y'all, I did the calculations and we spent 7.63 hours together. Yeah. 458 minutes of community and support. So thank you, yes, brother, right. for I your service. I spent seven hours of my time <laughs> going through this for this video. So I hope you appreciate it. I do. Now, in all seriousness, Risa has a story like no other. And it involves her ex-husband that she calls Legion. And I am going to touch on a bunch of key points in this video. But obviously, with the length of it, I'm not going to be covering it all. And also, I would highly recommend actually going to Risa's TikTok account no. to see the full story if you're interested. Because it is an incredible watch. The way she tells stories is brilliant. That's the reason why these videos are getting so many views. And as many of the comments say, once you get a few parts in, you kind of get hooked and you just want to watch I it all. Mean. So I'm purposely not going to hit every oh, single point possible mean. because it would be far too long. I'm but pretty sure I'm to like part four, four actually. Watch the video to get all the part three, part four. I'm, I'm going to specifically sure like talk four. about what I see as the main points. So I've watched story, 40 minutes of this, summary. bro. So hopefully that makes sense. Now I do just need to make it perfectly clear. I was not involved in this situation, clearly, so I can't say for 100% certainty that what she is saying is true, right? I think it's very clear from the response that a lot of people do believe her story, but I'm not going to sit here and say I have 100% certainty because I wasn't involved. So these are all allegations, and I'm just making comments. Okay, get to the story, story Marky. So the story starts off with Risa talking about how she met Legion. She actually matched with him on two different dating sites. So I met my ex-husband around March 4th of 2020. We met on she Facebook on the dating site, and we also matched on Hinge. She also makes a reference to the fact that throughout the story, you're going to see a lot of red flags that she unfortunately ignored at the time, that she was suspicious of, but there was always enough just to keep her there, you know? Like, kind of the idea that what Legion is telling her could possibly be true, but spoiler alert, it does involve a ridiculous amount of lies. And we can actually start with the fact that Legion told Risa that he had just moved to Georgia from California because he just got this major job role at a condom company. In the first phone call, he told me that he had just moved to Georgia from California, from oh, San Diego. Okay. His job had transferred him 
um, because he was being transferred in as the new regional manager for a major condiment company that is based oh, here in Georgia. <laughs> and he also went on to mention more details about his life at a very important layer in the story. For example, he said he played arena football, man, before this, I didn't even really know what arena football was. But he mm. later claims that he made a lot of money from arena football, has a lot of savings because of this. Turns out he don't actually seem to make that much money from arena football. He also said he used to work at Apple, and because he's got all this money saved up, he is looking for a house now that he's relocated. He went on to mention his ex-wife that apparently cheated on them, so they got a divorce, but he's still close to her kids. And he also made very clear that he's now at a point in his life where he wants to settle down with a wife, have kids, have a house together and whatnot. Then his whole previous career that Legion apparently had in arena football comes up a lot. He used to brag about it all the time. And then he explained that he also did arena football, but only did it for about two or three years. He claims that while he was doing arena football, the team that he was on won a championship. Now, long story short, they started getting to know each other and it was all going well. But then we were hit with COVID. This was back in 2020. And they didn't want to quarantine separately, so they decided to move in with each other. And they actually ended up moving into Reese's home. Now, the whole deal here was that Legion was going to pay like the utility bills. So he moved in. We talked about the bills. Let me clear something up that I said in the other video where I said he paid all the bills. He paid all the household bills. He did not pay my car payment, my cell phone, or my car insurance. But this was all supposed to be temporary because as they were starting to get more serious in their relationship, they started oh, looking no. for a home to buy. Yeah. Now, throughout this 50 part series, it becomes very clear that they looked at a ridiculous amount of houses. If I had to guess, because they are all in separate parts and whatnot, it seems like they looked at like 20, 30, 40 houses. Specifically, what? actually went to view and try and get like five or six houses. But there was always a problem when it came to actually getting a house, which was interesting because apparently Legion was incredibly well off. Like he played arena football, right? He has a massive amount of savings. So much so that he was looking for houses for like 700, 750 grand. This is when he showed me a letter from Chase with the Chase logo at the top, stating that he had been approved for a mortgage for, excuse me, for a seven hundred and fifty thousand dollar mortgage or a seven hundred fifty thousand dollar house. Now, for the most part, Risa didn't take this at face value. A lot of the time, she would ask for proof, and sometimes Legion would be able to give a proof. I said, so you have, the, so you have the money um, to pay for to pay he for made that letter. I'm sure. I'm also holding in my hand a letter from Chase saying that he was approved for seven hundred fifty thousand. So to Risa, this seems like it's probably going to be quite easy, right? He's approved for a seven hundred grand home. In fact, the first home they look at is actually three hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. So it seems like it's a lot cheaper than what Legion can apparently afford. But there's still a lot of troubles. Now Legion actually told Risa that his offer had been approved. He put a down payment on the house. Risa thinks they're moving in, and then all of a sudden she gets a call from the realtor asking what she wants to do about the house. Now obviously at this point Risa's saying, uh, "I feel like we have put an offer in. It's been approved. I thought we put a down payment on it." And the realtor's just confused and being like, "Oh, I mean, there isn't a down payment. Nothing been approved here. I'm, I'm trying to get this moving, but I haven't really heard anything back." Now Legion's excuse here was that he didn't go through this realtor that he spoke to originally, he actually went through his mate who was a realtor and he wanted to give them the business instead. But I said, well, did yeah. you put the offer in with him or not? And he said, no, I did not put the offer yeah, in with him. him. I put the offer in with a friend of mine who is a realtor. So I can give credit. him the business. No, of yeah. course, that does seem a bit sketchy. And in hindsight, once you hear about this story, you would think, all right, that should be your first red flag, right? He's clearly lying here. But they were early in their relationship, right? She has no reason to think that he's a liar because he hasn't lied yet. He hasn't enough time to, it seems like. So she goes along with it. She starts looking for furniture for the house. And she's seeing Legion put deposits on furniture and appliances and whatnot. So clearly she's thinking, all right, maybe we are going to move into this house because why else do we put a deposit down? I watched him pay a deposit on a whole new set of appliances for them and they were going to hold it until we were ready for delivery. And I think one big factor in this whole story that really worked on the favor of Legion and his lies is that this was during COVID, right? So things were delayed left, right, and center. So as soon as something happened that seemed a bit sketchy and maybe it's being postponed, like what's going on here, he could easily just blame COVID, right? Business has taken longer than usual because we're all having a quarantine. I believe that's something that you have to bear in mind throughout this whole video, right? It was a completely different time. Now, at this point, Risa actually falls pregnant and she really wants to get this move sorted, right? If she's going to be having a child, she wants to get this house sorted as quickly as possible. There's a bunch of excuses left, right, and that she's starting to get a bit impatient, but then all of a sudden, Legion says they have a date to move in. Then he said that we were set to close um, the end of May. And she keeps mentioning the fact throughout the story that she was suspicious, right? She's thinking, right, what if he's lying? But then she would also think in her mind, what if she is a liar? Like, I don't really have a reason to think that he's a liar yet. But obviously, as you can imagine, a lot of time goes by, nothing's really happened. And then she goes onto the website to look at the house listing, and it says that's been closed. So she actually calls the realtor and just pretends to be someone who's slightly interested in the home, just wants some more details. And the realtor says that it's been taken and it's been given to a different couple. So at this point, she knows Legion's been lying. There is no house. He's gonna to have to get out of this lie somehow. Because now I realize, at the very least, he was lying about, um, him being the one who was under contract. Now again, Legion has a bunch of excuses. And in fact, in this case, he says that the interest rates were too high. Like it wasn't a good deal. The next day I asked him about the house and he said, my friend, the realtor, um, he was like, I'm talking to him because something's going on with the interest rate. And when he said that, I felt so much relief because I knew 
that I had been prepared for, he's gonna give me some bullshit. No, at this point in the story, I want to keep it as brief as possible because it's a very sad part of the story that I feel like you should definitely hear Risa talk about. But she goes on to say that she unfortunately had a miscarriage and she mm -hmm. has had some treatment at the hospital, right? Obviously a heartbreaking situation, but when she goes on to ask Legion if he will actually drop her off at the hospital for this treatment, he goes on to say that he got a really important meeting at work because he's been promoted to the vice president of the company. And because of this, he's not going to drop her off, which is disgusting, especially when we find out that this whole story is a lie. And in fact, Risa goes on to try and message him throughout the day, but she's just having to text his assistant, which again, doesn't exist. Where his apparent assistant is saying that he's in a meeting and he can't talk right now. And remember, she's going through something completely heartbreaking at this point. Even the doctors are trying to get in touch with him whilst Risa's going through recovery, which took about three hours at the hospital. They were trying to get in touch with him to come and pick her up, and eventually he actually did. Now, Risa goes on to say that a few weeks have went by and they're trying to look for a house again. But this time when they find a house, Legion says he's just going to pay for it in cash because he's got all his savings from the football, right? He said that he had the money. Um, again, the price was $6.99. He said he felt comfortable putting in an all-cash offer. Which is a ridiculous amount of money to pay up front, right? A 700 grand house up yeah, front? Right. You would think he has millions in the bank. And she even sees him sign a contract, so she's thinking, okay, this guy is really rich. I watched in our bedroom as he pulled it up, because it was a electronic document, he signed his name to the offer for $699,000 cash. Now, because a similar situation happens quite a few times throughout the story, I kind of want to sum them up all right now. But there is multiple times where they're trying to look for a house and they actually put an offer in and Legion's like, right, I'll pay for it in cash. But the problem arises when the realtor says, okay, well, we need to see your proof of funds. And then Legion's excuses, I'm not going to show you the proof of funds until the offer has been accepted. And then pretty much every time the realtor comes back and says, that's not how it works, right? We need to see proof of funds first. And then as you can imagine, the offer then falls through, they don't end up moving. But it wasn't just houses that Legion would be very sketchy with, it was also cars. Risa says that they were constantly test driving cars because Legion told her that his company were gonna pay for a business car. They were test driving a bunch of big BMWs, big Audis and whatnot, but of course, there was always an issue. For example, when it actually came down to buying the car, the person who was supposed to buy the money had actually went home for the day. He waits about 10 minutes, he calls the person back. He says, did you get it? Apparently the person did get it. But the person who can who can actually physically do the wire transfer. Why is he doing all this? And at this point, you might be thinking, like, why is Risa believing him after all these lies? And she goes on to explain why she was believing it. Well, what is his end goal? The circumstances that do we think she gonna pay for this? We're stuff? inside the dealership. We're sitting at the desk of this person. He gave us the printout. He's on the phone, do, you know, doing business, basically saying, "Look, I need this is how much money the car is going to cost." He's taking a picture of it. He seemingly is texting someone saying, "This, this is how flex? much." You know, this okay. is proof of how much it is. Then he asked the BMW salesperson, "I need your wire transfer information." The guy got up, rushed over to, I guess, their finance area mm -hmm. to get the wire the bank wire information, because obviously you have to wire it a certain kind of way. Yeah, so he was really going out of his way to try and make this stuff look legit, right? He wasn't just going online and being like, right, I'm gonna buy a car. Oh no, I actually can't, there's a problem with the wire transfer. He was going to the dealerships with like business printouts saying that his company's gonna yeah, buy a car. So he was then supposed weird. to be texting people and ask the dealership for the wire transfer money. Like All he was energy. going to different lengths. There was also another situation involving a car where he was going to buy Risa, a brand new Audi. Then on the day that it was supposed to be delivered, there was apparently a problem with the truck. It was stuck on the truck and it couldn't be delivered. A bunch more time goes by and Risa just gives up with the whole situation. It's like, right, forget it, I'll buy own car and at this point the story is where we actually find out about his family he tells Risa that he has multiple siblings i believe he says that he has four brothers and two sisters one of these brothers he speaks to for hours every single day on the phone and even though Risa can see that he's on the phone to someone for hours she can only hear legion's perspective i can hear him with the phone up to his ear talking to someone because it wasn't me and we also find out that at the time of Risa and legion being together he claims that his grandmother passed away and now we will find out later in this video that that's not entirely true his grandmother had passed away but it was many years before this the grandmother passed away he called me around April or May <clears throat> and told me that his grandmother passed away. Now at this point, a bunch more time goes by and both their families wanted to get married because what both their families are religious. Objective? With them living together, obviously Risa felt pregnant with him. She thought, right, we need to get married. And that's what they did. And when filing this marriage, Legion had to write down his social security number. And because Risa's getting a bit suspicious of what's going on, she actually does a background check on him and nothing was up, like no criminal history. And I did a background check. <laughs> I did a background check after I had filed a marriage license. Yes, I know, but I did. The background check, um, nothing came back. But of course the marriage goes through, and within the same month of them getting married, Risa started to notice big changes in Legion's behavior. Like for example, he'd ring her while she's at work, and if he heard a male's voice, he'd freak out. You know, he would call me every day from work, and I'm going to demonstrate how those phone calls went, but he would call me every day from work. And if he even so much as heard a male voice in the background, he would have little comments to me, who was that? Are they in your office? You know, 
man, you know, I never know who's who's around you. And again, this becomes a pattern. And Risa says that Legion was always just trying to get a reaction out of her. And whilst we're talking about patterns, Risa also says throughout these videos that she believes the reason why Legion would say like, oh, let's get a house, a car, stuff that he can't afford, no one find well, would never go through, is because he seemed to get off on the fact that Risa would get really excited for something, right? Like a car oh, or a house. Like and then he would like the fact that she'd be let down. Now, obviously that's her whole take on the situation, but if that is true, I, I mean, I don't need to explain to you how disgusting that is. There was also a time that Risa went out to get her nails done and she actually got a phone call from Legion claiming that her ex had showed up to the house in his car looking for her. Now, obviously Risa was freaking out about this, being like, why would my ex show up? I don't speak to him anymore. In fact, I haven't dated anyone for a year before I even started dating you. And she thinks something isn't happening up here. So she actually goes to her neighbor, knowing fine well that they have a security camera that overlooks Risa's driveway and asks them to take a look. Like, did anyone show up today? To which the neighbor says, no one ever did. Maybe about a couple hours later, she texted me back and said, hey, I looked at the camera, but I didn't see anything. Now there's a bunch more suspicious behaviour that happens mm. around this that I'm not going to include because again we'd be here forever and I would highly recommend watching the whole series if you want to see all of that. But there's a lot more lies and inconsistencies that keep happening that she mentioned in the series. But this is when we get to a point where Reese is actually looking for a new job and because she's getting a new job they need to know some details of her spouse. One of these details is a social security number so Legion writes it down and Reese notices it's different than the one he gave before. So she goes to do another oh. background check and notices that it looks like Legion has never even lived in California. And because of this she actually brings up San Diego State and confirms he never went there. This person is wow. saying that they were a student there can you verify it? The response I got was there were no records found with that social security number. And when confronted about this, Legion actually says that his dad paid money so his name and social wouldn't be publicized. Oh this God. man said, well, I was a private citizen. What the fuck does that mean? And what he said is that when he started at San Diego State, his father paid money so that... Okay. It's important I say this with a straight face. His, his father paid money so that his name and social would not be publicized and he wow. would be considered a private student a private citizen which of course in hindsight sounds absolutely ridiculous but this is just Marley. one of the many many lies that Legion told and some of these lies were a lot more disgusting than others and for example he then went on to lie about the fact that his stepdaughter passed away he calls me from work calls me while i'm at work and tells me that he got a phone call from his stepson the phone call from wait he responds too right or am i tripping if i got skimmed through and i saw a ball head oh yes and then it said legion responds okay his stepson, the stepson was crying and was just absolutely distraught. And I'm at work in my office like, what's going on? And he says to me that the stepson informed him that his stepdaughter passed away. Now it's not until quite a bit further in the series we find out that that was just a complete lie. But it seems like the reason he decided to lie about this is because he then goes on to say, can we take some money out of our joint account to send to the mother for the funeral? Now I think it's safe to assume that if the story is true, it seems like he just sent the money to himself, right? Which again, if the story is true, is a lie that I don't even think some of the most disgusting people would ever even lie about. Like that is genuinely as low as it gets. Now Risa's getting more and more suspicious as the days go on. Obviously she's down with things in her head, right? She's thinking, there's no way that anyone would lie about something that's serious, but some things aren't adding up. So she does some more digging into his social security number and finds divorce records from his ex-wife. She then finds out that there's nothing about cheating. Of course, Legion said the reason they broke up was because she cheated on it. She also notices in the filing that he was apparently too poor to actually pay for any of the divorce. Now, of course, oh. that definitely doesn't add up to the fact that he apparently had enough money to pay for a 700 grand house in cash. It's also worth mentioning throughout this story, Risa is asking to see his bank statements and he is showing bank statements with money in it. I mean, that does get explained later in the video, but he is showing proof. Which ends up calling the ex-wife that's on the records anyways to try and see if things add up. And the ex-wife is pretty simple. She says, look, he is lying about everything he's told you. He's never lived in California. Mm. He's always lived in Georgia. She didn't cheat on him. But the most sickening lie of them all, her stepdaughter is fine. I asked her, how is your daughter? She said, my daughter's fine. So now knowing that Legion is lying about this, I think it becomes very clear that he's not scared to lie about anything. So Risa then looks up his mother's and his grandmother's obituary and it becomes very clear that there's no sisters to be seen. Of course, he said he had four brothers, two sisters. The sisters don't exist. He also only has two brothers, not four. And even on top of that, the grandmother, who apparently passed away whilst they were in this relationship, actually died in 2008. She then decides to look for his phone and sees a bunch of messages to what she says is a prostitute and he's thanking her oh. for a service and like a price list and whatnot. So, so of course, as you imagine, Risa's passing over his phone, right? She <laughs> kicks out the house. He was like, so what you saying? You, you don't want to be married to me anymore? And I said, I don't want to be married to you anymore. I said, we need to go our separate ways. But she hasn't went through all the details. She just wants to get him out of the house as quickly as possible. And this goes on for a while where he's saying, look, I'm not going to leave. I'm not going to leave. She's starting to get a lot more angry saying, you need to leave. But he finally does leave and a few days go by and his cousin actually reaches out to Risa to ask like, what the fuck has happened here? And this is where she makes it very clear that his family aren't exactly on great terms with him because they know he is a pathological liar. And in fact, the story that Legion is now telling his family is that he found out that Risa was cheating on him with a law enforcement officer and that law enforcement officer threatened Legion with his weapon to leave the house. He's what? telling the family <laughs> that I kicked him out after he walked in on me having an affair, that I stole his money 
And I then kicked him out. And the man I was having an affair with, he said, was a law enforcement officer who used his duty weapon to threaten him to get out the house. But because Lincoln's family knows he's a liar, they don't believe us at all anyway, oh, so they carry okay. on speaking to Reese to find out what else he's been lying about. Apparently this brother that Lincoln speaks to on the phone every single day for hours on end absolutely hates him. They don't get along. So according to Reese, he's oh, just pretending to be on the phone oh. for ages, claiming that he's speaking to his brother, but he's not. Oh, Reese goes on to ask about these two sisters. Turns out they don't even exist. One of the sisters' names was actually Kim, which turns out to be the cousin's daughter. It's not Legion's sister. And again, Legion and Kim don't get along. Of course, stern. there's two brothers, not four. And in fact, one of his brothers is actually his twin that seems to have a very similar lifestyle to what Legion is trying to represent. And Legion's older brother apparently believes that Legion is just trying to copy his twin's lifestyle, and they're the made-up stories. And then there's some further details that will also confirm that like, the grandmother actually died in 2008. It wasn't recent. Also, Legion's uncle that he claims to speak to a lot about like financial advice and whatnot actually died in 2010. And it was even a cousin that he claimed that he speak to that apparently died a long time ago. So of course, Reese is just trying to get this divorce over and done with at this point. She wants nothing to do with it. This but she meets scary. up with Legion again about a week later at like a UPS store to sign the divorce papers, and she notices the state of his car. And she says it becomes very clear that Legion has been living out of his car. I saw the condition of the inside of the car. And that's when I knew he's been living in his car. And obviously this doesn't add up with the fact that Legion apparently has a load of money. We all know by now that's apparently a lie. And in fact, Risa goes on to say that Legion apparently left a bag at the house where she notices like the jobs don't add up, right? He had different jobs to what he claimed. He was actually a construction worker working on the building that he claimed he worked on, just a different job completely. She also says that there's paperwork for weekend of jail. I didn't know what this was, but apparently it's when someone does like a non-violent crime and get weekend of jail where they go into the jail for the weekends. I didn't know that existed. But of course that doesn't add up with the fact that when she did the background check on Legion's original social security number it said he had no criminal history hence why he would probably lie about that she then goes on to look through his work phone that he had left at the house and finds the screenshots yeah because i don't like, have a and whatnot, like, improving <laughs> his phones also he had shown her pictures previously of like a car he used to own and a house he used to own she then decides to reverse google search his images finds out that it's all on google and what i see is a is what looks like a <sighs> screenshot <sighs> of his checking account the one that i saw with the available yeah, I I then there's another photo of the screenshot of the savings that he showed me either one is not real and it was pulled offline or two he took a screenshot of his own account and saved the photo i did a reverse google Im image search sure enough as you probably have figured out some of you because i read it in the comments what he showed me when he turned his phone around showing me his available um checking account balance was nothing more than a screenshot that he had found on google and then legion lies allegedly get a lot more disturbing because Legion's exactly. aunt, who's not really his aunt, but he said it's his aunt this whole time, has now actually reached out to Risa to ask what happened. And she says like, oh, I thought you had a kid together. Now, obviously Risa had a miscarriage, but Legion never told his aunt that. In fact, he lied and said that the kid's fine and that they'll be able to see each other sometimes. She said, I've seen him like four or five times. He's come down here. And each time I've asked him to bring the baby. And I said, what baby? Uh... And she said, the, the baby that y'all had. What? He told me that, that you all, sick. that y'all had a baby boy. Which again, I obviously don't need to explain it to anyone, but if this is true, it is so fucking disturbing, especially when you add it onto everything else that he's lied about. I genuinely can't fathom how a person yeah, would ever lie about stuff like this. Crazy but house. apparently, this, this has wild. been happening. But this is where we start getting to the end of the story. The divorce. What the is fuck is this ball head out not even said it is? Look, you're actually not legally allowed to kick me out of the house. Apparently, he's had some legal advice from someone that says like he wasn't allowed to be kicked out. So he's now going to force his way there, back in. Now, of course, as anyone would, Risa brings the police coming. and says, like, look, we need to do something about this. And it turns out the police actually had a warrant for Legion's arrest. So the police tell Risa, when Legion does show up, give us a ring and we'll arrest him. And that's what she does. They tell me to sit in the car, they go up to the window of the car and get him, you know ask him to step out of the car there was no incident or anything like that he he was arrested peacefully but it turns out legion was actually released not long after because the warrant had actually expired but thankfully for Risa's sake mm -hmm. the divorce had actually now been confirmed at this point and i'm smiling right now but y'all when i got that divorce decree sitting on the stairs i broke down into ugly oprah Tears. Now, since these videos went viral, and when I say viral, by the way, I mean that pretty much every single part out of all the 50 that got uploaded have over a million views. There's the odd couple that don't. Most have over a million, a lot have over two million. Which is ridiculous when you bear in mind how many parts there is, right? That's a crazy amount of views. But since it did go that viral, clearly people tried to work out who Legion was. And they did find out. People started posting Facebook everywhere. And I'm not going to show that in a video for oh, obvious reasons. And if I recently did a live stream talking about the fact that it's personal information, I, I was thinking that too. I was going to say, why would he even come out and expose himself? Like, nobody know who you are, but internet they are some detectives and she wishes that it never happened and she even asked the account that originally posted to delete the video and they refused i am aware that his information was put out there um from what i have gathered he was exposed it started off with one particular creator i'm not going to name that creator just because i'm not trying to create more drama 
I did not know that his information was going to um, be released. I don't think it should go about saying in situations like this, you shouldn't go out of your way to try and dig up someone's private information. And post it yeah, y'all ain't shit. But it's like she did get so much information that I can see how people found found him. Actually, if you watched every part, taking notes, it actually would be easy to figure out who he was. Look on TikTok, because especially at the time he hasn't posted anything publicly. But at this point, it seems like he has. So of course I'm not just gonna scream and call this Facebook account oh, like please, a lot of people did. But he has now posted some sure. public TikTok videos. And I do just want to say, I'm a hundred percent certain he might that this is him. Slow. I'm pretty sure because no one said it isn't. And I mean Reese has also confirmed on our live streams that people seem to have the right guy. But yeah, I do just want to put a disclaimer out there in case it turns out not to be the guy, but I I'm kind of pretty sure it is. And like I mentioned before, I wouldn't have shown anything to do with him, like what he looked sure. like or anything, if he didn't post the public TikTok videos uh my message to her is please stop oh. lying to these people and you can tell them the real reason i left you you cheated i caught you in the house with bradley and mm. we <laughs> went to marriage council didn't work and we broke up so yeah as you can see you're still holding the on to police the story officer the broke up is because risa actually cheated now again i wasn't there so i can't Wait, say that's what, all he said said. what happened but the majority of people don't seem to be uh, believing a word he says it's sad um because it's completely false of everything more to the point, I haven't decided who I'm going to talk to exactly or go on whose page or whatever. Yeah, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know that she lied about everything. Follow her, don't follow her. That's up to you. All that stuff she said, it's complete lies. So yeah, as you just heard again, he says that's a complete lie. That's he also he mentions meant. he doesn't know whose like, account he's going to go on to, which makes me believe he's going to do some form of interview about the whole situation. So I guess that will be released soon. I don't know. But yeah, either way, that is the situation up until now. That is all we know at this point. That's all your boy and ass got to say is that she lying. This woman has uploaded 50 parts of, of what you did in great detail, going over everything. And your response is, oh no, she lying. That's cap. That that's all you're giving us. You did it. Everything she said you did, you did. Cause what the hell is that? And then he's saying he's gonna go on somebody's platform. What sense does that make, stupido? You can monetize <laughs> your own platform. Why would you give that to someone else? You should post it on your own TikTok or make a YouTube channel and get the views or whatever, so that everything is going to you. You're not very smart. Um, but yeah, this is wild. I don't think I needed to listen to this story though for for eight hours as the woman said it was seven hours some change of, of this story i don't think i needed to do that so i'm glad he gave a summary appreciate you brother for for your service because i didn't have the patience to go through that um but yeah this is a very crazy situation and there is an update on it um, the, the wife, the ex-wife comes out and speaks on the situation apparently. And maybe we're, we'll hear more from Baldy um, in that other video. Y'all let me know if y'all want me to uh, react to it. And uh, we'll, we'll check that out if y'all are interested. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about all this. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.